forecast from WMBF First Alert Meteorologist Matt Bullock. Here are the three things you know about the forecast. We're getting the first alert to a dry and mild weekend. Along with that, cooler temperatures on the way. Now, while the weather may be quiet here at home, the tropics, they remain active. And so talk about the forecast here at home. Perfect weekend for fall festivities. We got the Harvest Home Festival at the Brook Green Gardens. Myself will be there along with my family, Cammie and Alex. You have the Surfside Beach Fall and Family Festival. And then you have Old Dominion taking on Coastal Carolina. And for all these fall festivities, we're getting a first alert to a pumpkin spice watch into next week. And here's why. Cold front starts to move in Monday night. We'll bring slim to none rain chances, but behind that is cooler cooler weather with drier conditions, lower humidity on the way, starting to feel more like fall. Talk about these morning low temperatures. We go from mid 60s from Saturday, Sunday morning, dropping down to the low 50s for Thursday and Friday morning. So for bonfires Thursday and Friday night, perfect forecast for that. Temperatures will remain in the 70s into next week with little to none rain chances in the forecast. Now, while we're quiet here at home. The tropics, they remain active. We still have those two named storms. There's Hurricane Kurt, center of Atlantic, remains a category four hurricane with sustained winds at 130 miles per hour. Then we have tropical storm Leslie, just four miles per hour shy from hurricane strength and looking at the latest track of the system. Kirk will hook back northeast, will pose no threat towards the United States. Leslie will continue to track westward, but remaining into the Atlantic. So no impacts from those systems, but all eyes are on this tropical wave out in the western Gulf of Mexico. This system has a 50% chance of tropical development, but there's kind of two scenarios with this system. There is an approaching cold front into next week. If this system kind of combines with the cold front, we won't see any development. But if it stays separate from the cold front, we may see tropical development. And look at the latest models are kind of trending that a tropical system beginning to develop as we head to next week. Still way too early to know the impacts. Just know that this system will stay down towards our south, mainly impacting South Florida. So tropics remain active, but the weather remains quiet. 80s for this weekend, dropping down to the 70s with morning lows in the 50s.